completely lost it. He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bunch of dolphins <laughs> saved him. A bunch of dolphins. Get up, please. <laughs> okay, it's Christmas time, so you know what that means. One thing and one thing only. Dashing through the door. You like this guy? Yeah. 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 Go on, Ravi. Come on. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Presents every single year. The wee. You like it? Come on. Hey. There you go. It's very festive, isn't it? It's good at Has it got you in the mood? Is it making you yeah, feel festive? Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked it. Done your Christmas shopping? I've ordered a box of vegetables. <laughs> That's all I've done. Really? Yep. <laughs> what kind? Uh, a variety, really. There's a little where I live in in Norwich, in the area I live in. There is a veg box <laughs> delivery service. A couple of ladies do, and they, well, you can just email them and say, "Can I have a veg box?" And they say, "Yeah." <laughs> Hold so on, you twenty pounds. Big shout out to Meadow Harvest. <laughs> so you've ordered veg for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, it turns up on the twenty third. Little box they put it at your doorstep, and I you transfer them the money, twenty quid's worth of veg. <laughs> the fuck you've changed Robbie I'm yeah always... you used to grow it in your own garden now look at you <laughs> yeah getting it delivered you hand delivered the hello fresh of the world it's not hello fresh it's like a local independent veg mongery yeah, I but... thought you grew your own I, I do but I moved out haven't I? I haven't had a chance to grow it I haven't got I haven't got anywhere to grow things I do buy food that I haven't grown myself as well <laughs> I'm not self-sustained yeah. shall we talk about Christmas and that then we were. Literally what literally, we were doing. Literally, <laughs> literally just we did it for the last minute or so. Have you been listening? Yeah. Are you still... Because he was on his laptop while we, did, we were just chatting. Yeah, he's still got that in. Dashing through the snow. That's just running in his yeah. head constantly. I was actually just watching on mute. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was thinking he's, like, he's expressive, isn't he, that guy? I like him. Yeah. I wouldn't mind him on the show. Yeah. How long, how long ago was that, though? Yeah, but still, he's, st- he's still quality. It's like that. I wouldn't be long getting frostbit. You know that guy? No idea. You wouldn't no. be long getting frostbit. You might... <laughs> you not know this guy. No idea. He's like an Irish guy and it's like really cold and he's on the he's on the news and they're like, How cold is it out there? He's like, Ah, you wouldn't be long getting frostbit. You don't Do you not know what his name is? Because I was speaking to some guy on Call of Duty the other day. A uh, shout out to that guy. And he 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 said he liked the podcast. He was asking how you two were. Weird. <laughs> Why is that weird? Why does he care? Right? And he was from Ireland as well. And he went, his name's Rory McLarty. I was like, no, it's not. Why well, don't you play that for look, us as well? Uh, yeah, all right. You yeah. can literally play it for us. Yeah, I can get it up. I can get it up. Your surplus to First time he said that to me. <laughs> Frostbit guy. Right. Yeah, you must know this. Ah, yeah, wouldn't be long getting frostbit. Jack, the more you say it, doesn't mean we're yeah. going to sell it. Oh. Shocks that I got as well. But you see, I had to turn the hill, the hill, just, just up to my, oh, there was a I had to turn the hill up, 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 up to my foot there, to just so the sock would go longer, the mother got me these the, the thinner shock things there. Oh, God, you wouldn't be long getting the ankles frost but off you. And you don't mind walking to school in the snow, do you? Are you uh, used to it up this, this part of the world? Welcome to Derry. Uh, what are you used to the snow up this part of the world? Well, ach, well, there's a, well, be a good wee bit of snow, you know, there will be a bit of snow there when a Christmas is a go there. Oh, no. Oh, what do you, you make, what do you make of it today? <laughs> oh, well, it's not just as bad or, as bad as it was back then, but sure, <laughs> Ah, no, it'll be, it'll be all right. It's, uh, uh, but it's not, it's not a great day, though, right enough. It's sort of a day for the house now, right enough. But there's meant to be there's meant to be wild delays now around Finney and Donna Manor and all that surrounding areas. Oh, no. Well, sure, anyway, we'll see you anyway. Good luck. Right, he right. doesn't actually say the quote that I thought he said. <laughs> oh, was, when, when I was watching that, because on the video it starts off at his feet there, I was thinking this is going to be like a 60 year old bloke. <laughs> I think it was going to be a schoolboy. That's what I mean. This boy that I was speaking to on Call of Duty, his, his mannerisms and his sort of phrases that he used were. Really old. I said to him, "Oh, you're from the north of Ireland, not Northern Ireland." Yeah. And there she is. There she is. Finn Harps. <laughs> Fuck off. That is literally. He said Derry, didn't he? Fuck. He off. mentioned your boys' club, Derry. You've been to one game. You've been to yeah. more Finn Harps games than you've been to Manchester United. That makes mate. me an ultra, mate. <laughs> Fuck me.
What is <laughs> Why are you showing us this? Because <laughs> all this has come from is that me and Robbie were having a conversation and you weren't listening and you were on your laptop and then you asked if we could talk about Christmas, which is exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. This frostbite guy. Why are you going back to it? <laughs> Why? Beforehand, we were saying, Stevie was saying, that would it be going over to an episode where we just not talk about anything? It's like it's just a general chat about nothing. And Jack's gone, that'd be absolutely shit. And then proceeded to do exactly that during the episode. <laughs> wait, wait. Because <laughs> he's the most Irish guy ever. He won't give it up, will he? <laughs> wait, wait. His name's Rory McSorley, right? And this isn't the only time he's gone viral. What, Robbie? I genuinely have no idea if this is the podcast or not. Are we? D- I can't remember. I think it is, Robbie. I think so. okay. and, uh, yes. <laughs> I think I had a good idea. That's so funny. You said my idea was shit. Yeah, I'm doing it. For, yeah. for, the, for the listeners, I won't, I won't stop. Keep going. For, for the listeners, I asked if we could release an episode where we actually just talk about nothing and it's just us three having a normal chat with no like we real... Like before we start. Yeah, like how we chat before the episode starts. And Jack went, that is the worst idea ever. <laughs> but here he is. Carry on. Tell us tell us more about Rory <laughs> McSorley. I've lost a lot of faith in it now. You've lost faith oh, now! Tell You've tell lost us. the faith now! For fuck's sake, tell us so we can get the episode and go to the pub. No, that's his first time he went viral, yeah? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Why you, have a guess why you think he went viral a second time. Went to prison? No. More snow? He was drowning off sea in a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of dolphins. <laughs> We've lost him, Robbie. We've lost him. <laughs> what? Is that true? <laughs> He's actually crying. <laughs> can, can you say that so the listeners can hear? <laughs> Do you want me to say it? <laughs> <laughs> he has lost it! Jack has completely lost it! He's crying! <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of dolphins <laughs> saved him! A bunch of dolphins! Get up, please! <laughs> Can I say why I was laughing at first? Because when he said he was drowning off sea, and he was because I could hear you, I thought you said on a bungee jump. I was like, imagine <laughs> like, oh, I'm drowning, oh, I'm alright, oh, I'm drowning, oh, I'm alright. <laughs> He's, yeah, Rory McSorley Dolphins. Rory McSorley. It's <laughs> not the best, the best story ever. It's recent as well. <laughs> That's it's what I mean. But this guy on <laughs> Call of Duty was telling me this and I didn't believe it. Frostbit guy. They <laughs> call him Frostbit. Imagine being known as Frostbit Boy. Frostbit Boy, Rory McSorley, saved four kilometres off coast by dolphins in Kerry. He's got a broadband ad deal there. He's, he's, done all, he's done all right, mate. Get him on. Rory, if you're about. Look, Rory rose to fame in 2015 with his famous line, you wouldn't be long getting frost, but... That's not even what he said. No, but you sort of... Pay, <laughs> that's the best bits in it, really. I'm Good. glad he's all right. Related articles. Frostbit boy replaces Jamie Dornan in the <laughs> Fifty Shades film. Hold on. And Frostbit Boy is releasing a charity single. Yeah, and it promises it'll be powerful together. Get in touch, Rory, if you're about. You're welcome on the show anytime you want, my friend. Rory McSorley. Yeah, he has to come on Dolphin back, though. (laughs) Sat in the pavilion, getting my boots on, and (laughs) his Royal Highness walked in and just got out his Aston Villa stocks and just started putting them off and just just having general chit-chat. 